Okay, now we're going to talk about manipulating your white balance. Let's open up the basic panel over here on the right. And you can see right at the top that you can either work in color or black and white. And then right below that, you see an area that's going to allow you to manipulate the white balance in the image. So a few different ways you can do this. First thing you can do is you can actually apply a preset white balance. The first option is auto. This is going to automatically decide what the white balance for your image should be based on some algorithms uh, programmed into Lightroom. We click that, there's the automatic white balance. The other things you can choose from are presets that should match the shooting conditions. So let's say shade or daylight. It's going to change the white balance based on those uh, presets. What else can we do? We can actually play with the sliders ourselves to decide. We go blue or cold. We see what happens. We go yellow or warm, we see what happens. What you're going to do when you're playing with the slider is you're going to be deciding with your own eyes what looks best. Personally, I like a little bit of warmth in this image. I'm going to move the slider over a little. You can also play with the tint here on the slider. Do we want to go away green or super fuchsia? Playing with the extremes helps you see what you're going to do to the photo, but usually you're just going to want to make really fine adjustments. I like this. Let's go to the history panel over here on the left, and we can back up to where we started. And let's try out this way. Grab your little dropper tool, and what you're going to try to get is a target neutral. And what you need to find is something in the photo that is a uh, light neutral gray. This might be hard to find sometimes. Mm. Yeah, I'm having a difficulty. Is that a light neutral gray? It's more of a brown. Where's our light neutral gray? That's pretty close. Let's see what happens. Oh. Well, a lot of blues came back in. So that's an option, but I have to tell you that my very, very favorite thing is to just make the colors look the way I want them to. This is gonna be personal for everyone. I like to move the sliders, like I said. So I'm gonna move it back over so it's a little more warm. And that, I think, is the warmth I would like for this image. Let's grab another image real quick and see what we can do with it. How about this one? Well, yellows. So what do, what, do I, what do I want to do here? I think I want to move the slider over towards blue a little. What a difference that makes. Now, instead of my son looking like he has jaundice while he's blowing bubbles, he has more of a natural skin tone. If I want to see what the before and after is here, I can do a really nice shortcut. That is, I can use the backslash key on the keyboard. So if I click it, I can see the before and the after. There's also a tool down here at the bottom in the toolbar where I can click to see the before and after both on the screen at the same time. And if you cycle through these, you can see some different versions of that. It's a neat visual representation of what you've done. Click the loop view next to it to go back to the one image. And remember the backslash before, after, before, after. Okay, so that's a basic white balance.